So in the interim, you know, we've kind of already touched on this, you know, but do you have any advice? Cause I always get these questions and I feel like I'm I, maybe gonky you're you're more qualified than me, but when people are always asking like as a, as a fighter pilot or even as an airline pilot, but specifically as a fighter pilot, what do you recommend people? Like, do you have any recommendations for nutrition and fitness just to stay in peak performance to go pull nine G's? Is it better? Like Gonky talked about to just smoke and do red bull bowls or is there a <laughs> workout program be short that too. you recommend? Yeah. 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 No, I don't think I could recommend on, on air the Gonky uh, diet and exercise gonky. And alcohol plan, or I might lose my medical license, but um, <laughs> I mean, you know, when it comes to diet and exercise, I like to think more in like, very simplistically as far as nutrition you know there's a thousand different diets out there nutrition science is very challenging to even perform i i think in general we all know what we need to do right we need to eat more you know like kind of just whole foods less processed foods we definitely all probably need a little bit more fruits and vegetables in our diet um i think really also depends on what your goal is you know if you're at all getting close to developing some type of metabolic disease you know, meaning like pre-diabetes, obesity, um, those types of conditions, you need a really very specific treatment plan in terms of like what you're putting in your body. If you're not in that category and you're just trying to lose weight or maybe you're trying to bulk up or maybe you're, you know, you're at risk for heart disease just based on you know, your family history or other things, then it's going to be a little bit different per person. Um, as far as the exercise thing, I think it's like, you know, you, 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 uh, you train to play on the very specific activity you're trying to train to. So, and you know, in the, in the FAA world, yeah, you probably don't need a super high degree of fitness to do that job. Right. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, you also don't want to, you also don't want to grow unhealthy and unwell and not be able to appreciate and, and, you know, enjoy the last few decades of your life because you have spent way too much time just sitting in a, in a, in a cockpit and not like actually exercising. And that increases your risk for, you know, heart attack and stroke and all these things that could impact your medical later down the line when you get into your 50s and 60s, you know, when guys still want to still fly and be healthy. Um, for fighter pilots specifically, though, I think it does matter. You know, you definitely want to do very specific um, training to help with your G performance, to help with, um, you know, I mean, also just, you know, the, the, the rare situation where you, you know, have to eject or bail and you're out, you know, having to spend for your oh, life yeah. too. That's always a consideration, you know, where, you need to be kind of prepared for that. And those aren't things that, that you can change immediately, you know, so you should have a basic level of fitness at, and, and be, you know, you're flying, you're, you're considered by the air force, you know, one of the most elite um, human beings that they've invested in. And, you know, I think that it would be a good thing to try to also maintain like a certain level of activity that would allow you to do that job as well as possible. Right. Which part of the Air Force thinks that? Because I can tell you, <laughs> we, haven't the Air Force we haven't experienced any believe that. that we are anything <laughs> other than garbage. Not, uh, until you, not until you try to leave and they realize, yeah. like, oh, we're going to have to we're gonna have to train, train up another guy. This is expensive. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well, Doc, you obviously don't recommend CrossFit because you didn't say it 15 times. So good on <laughs> you for not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't not, um, um, <laughs> recommend CrossFit. I'm just, I'm not a CrossFitter myself. Are you guys CrossFitters? No, no, no oh, PR for me. <laughs> okay. I always yeah. thought it was, I mean, when I was, when I was a lot younger, I used to exercise more, but I remember in the Navy, they were like, you're not allowed to take creatine. You're not allowed to take, uh, any kind of protein supplements, any of that stuff, which I thought was crazy. Oh, they have a whole supplement thing now. Um, I know the Air Force does, and they allow most, oh, most supplements. Yeah, there are some that, like, you know, that are in the kind of, you know, use with caution category, and there's just a couple that you can't, but most of them uh, are okay. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention with the fitness thing, though, is I think the Air Force has done a great job with, you know, started off at Luke, and now it's starting to be, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, growing into different bases where they actually are having, like, this kind of physical therapy, personal trainer fitness suite of, um, of, you know, different expert level services specifically for fighter squadrons, which is really cool, I think. And that's like, guys, like that just makes so much sense. Why are we, why have we not been doing this for decades, but they're starting to do it now. Um, I don't know if you've heard about that. Have you heard Doc, about that? Why are you laughing? We had that. <laughs> so, we so, had, we had a chiropractor, <laughs> a physical therapist, <laughs> and, uh, they had a personal trainer, but we were T38 people, so they wouldn't talk to us. So I know. It was only and for the Raptor side, T-38s, you know, whatever. No, so, yeah, so that's Gucci. 
So yeah. old like old gonky is is like my navy, navy gonky is making fun of Air Force Grant. So you'll never in a in a Navy or Marine Corps <laughs> fighter squad never say you'll, never. You'll it well, always starts somewhere. That's true. I don't I, I'm 99 percent sure today you will not find a dedicated chiropractor. Uh what was that thing like an eighteen thousand dollar massage chair? <laughs> oh yeah, they have two we massage used, chairs. We all, yeah. we all used to take rides in. Um yeah, the Air Force uh body care package program was much more robust than well, and eglin on the f-35 side had a performance psychologist yeah which i didn't nice. get i didn't get to go talk to but they had a <laughs> no kidding like a sports psychologist for performance like you know hey I'm, i've got a little bit of anxiety well you can't say that word but you know I've got <laughs> <a little bit laughs> and, you know uh which i thought was really cool